So two of the best Tonka Bean Gourmand fragrances, Feb Delicious by Dior and also Tonka Imperial from Guerlain, are discontinued, gone, vanished. I think you might be able to find them still, but soon they'll completely disappear. Are you guys fans of these two fragrances? Which of these two is your favorite? Well, today in this video, I've got some great alternatives. I've got 10 alternatives to these great fragrances. They're going to be missed, but I don't think you should be disappointed because some of these fragrances are really, really great, as good as these two fragrances that are discontinued, and perhaps even better. So find out about great alternatives to Dior Feb Delicious and also Guerlain's Tonka Imperial coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about alternatives to Dior's Feb Delicious and also Guerlain's Tonka Imperial. So why did Guerlain discontinue this one? Because they just launched a really expensive extract. I think it's called Tonka Serapia and it's one of the extracts. I actually enjoyed that one. I don't own it so I'm not going to recommend it here. But it's disappointing that this one's got the axe. I was told in Paris there's a lot of stock out there still but it is discontinued. And with Dior's Feb Delicious, we thought that it was just pulled from the States. In France, you'll be able to find it. Same thing at the Dior Privé Fragrances Boutique. This is definitely on its way out. There's not a lot of stock left. So it's disappointing that fragrances do get discontinued, but they do. So if you have a favorite, get yourself a backup bottle. But which one of these two was better? For me, Dior's Feb Delicious was the better of the two, but I enjoyed both. And Dior's was a bit powderier and a bit more powderier, I should say. And Guerlain's was a bit more smoother. But for me, this was just an absolutely delicious gourmand fragrance highlighting the bitterness, the bitter almondy effect of the tonka beans and taking it into a really delicious gourmand direction. It did feature loads of tonka beans with vanilla, caramel. There's dark chocolate, some cherry, benzoin, leather, coconut, freesia, and lavender. Yeah, the lavender in here was also a great combo. Not very prominent, just like the cherry, but it was there to give it some enhancement and to give it a bit of more of a aromatic herbal spiciness but a really wonderful offering i've gone through so many bottles it's definitely one of the fragrances i used to recommend quite a bit but sadly it's discontinued on the other hand tonka imperial had launched much e earlier than uh, dior feb delicious and i don't come to think of it dior feb delicious i think launched in 2014 or 15 so it's been around for almost 10 years but tonka imperial has been around much longer i think from the latter part of the 2000s and it's gone through multiple bottles it went into the uniform bottle but now it's being pulled but for me this was a really delicious take on tonka beans really a wonderful syrupy sticky ambery take on tonka beans it featured tonka bitter almonds there's some tobacco incense cedar rosemary pine and jasmine it's been a favorite of mine in the collection of the Art at La Matia collection fragrances, I did prefer maybe uh, Angelique Noir and I did prefer Spiritus Double Vigny, Bois de Harmony, but still a favorite of mine, but sadly it's gone now as well. If you've got your backup bottles, great. I think the one that you're going to have an easier time finding is T Tonka Imperial because it just got the axe. On the other hand, Feb Delicious, I reported on it last year that it was discontinued here in the States. And we thought all along that you'd be able to find them if you traveled to France, just like some of their other Privé fragrances that were pulled from the States, but you'd be able to pick them up there. But no more, because everything else is gone too. And also, the last bit of discontinued fragrances from the Privé are also getting cleared out, and they're not remaking them anymore, from what I was told. So anyway, let's talk about the alternatives. I've got some great, great alternatives here for you. We're going to start off with a great one I recently discovered, although I had discovered it like last year. I never bought a bottle, so I was at ZGO and I picked up a bottle just for this video because I wanted to highlight it. It's super, super delicious. It's from the house of Pierre Guillaume, a sort of indie niche house that you guys, if you don't know the house, definitely check them out. This is Tonka Bodycon 31. It is so, so delicious, guys. It's a unique combination of Tonka with vanilla, but there's also apples in here, so maybe it goes into a little bit of Wajan direction, but not quite, a little bit, sort of, but more like a combination of 
Tonka Imperial, Feb Delicious, and Wajon together. So, so delicious. If you haven't gotten your nose on this, you've got to get your nose on this. It's super amazing. And if you like those two fragrances that are discontinued, Feb Delicious and Tonka Imperial, this is definitely one you must check out. So it's Tonka, Apples, Vanilla, Ambery Rum, Honey, Benzoin, Pistachio. For one super delicious fragrance, I think I'm going to take this on my trip to Europe. Um, it's, it's so good. It really, really is a great fragrance. I love the way it smells, and it's one of the best alternatives for the two discontinued fragrances. But also, for this video, I picked up this fragrance. I ordered it from FragranceNet. It's Boucheron's more higher-end collection of fragrances called Fev Tonka, Fev Tonka de Canaima is what it's called. This is the third one I own from this collection. They seem like taking uh, very popular fragrances and kind of doing their own twists on them. This is a luxury collection from Boucheron. These are not sold anywhere nearby, so FragranceNet had it for around $110. So it's not necessarily very expensive for so-called luxury collection fragrances. It's Boucheron's, you know, higher-end luxury collection fragrances. And these are sold at Harrods even. It was on Harrods online for almost $200. So this is Tonka Beans, Bitter Almonds, Vanilla, Sandalwood, Labanum, Patchouli, Violets, Rose. This is a bit more focusing on the Tonka Beans, not adding that kind of contrast of the booziness and the apples and all that kind of stuff that's in the Tonka Body Con, Tonka Body Con 31. This is more just the Tonka beans and the bitter almonds mixed together for a very nutty effect, plus the vanilla and amber notes, and you've got earthy notes, and then of course uh, the uh, the woods, the sandalwood. So it's very, very creamy, totally, uh, totally like paying tribute to the Tonka and the bitter almonds. They wonderfully blend together to amplify one another, you know, because Tonka beans and almonds are kind of similar, so each one has uh, reminders of one another, so it just basically boosts up each other to create a wonderful effect of this bitter almondy nuttiness that's in here. It's a smoother fragrance, not a wider reaching fragrance. It's, it's not as gourmand as the previous one, but if you're strictly wanting to focus on Tonka, Tonka beans, Fev Tonka de Canaima is a great, great fragrance for you to check out. And that's also not necessarily very pricey. And so again, it's around $110 at a discounter and selling on Harrods for about $190, $200, I think. So definitely worth checking out if you are a fan of those two discontinued fragrances. So then we have Laboratorio Olfativo's Toncad, this one right here. Are you guys familiar with this house? They are sold here in San Francisco. And also I should say, both of these brands are sold here in San Francisco. So if you're visiting, you can go to ZGO to discover Pierre Guillaume fragrances. There's a lot of great fragrances there. A, a, a more of an indie niche house from France. And then if you're also visiting, go to Ministry of Scent to discover the fragrances of Laboratorio Olfativo, a great Italian house, really kind of indie niche and really wonderful offerings. Both of them have really great fragrances. So Toncad has beans in the top and the base notes, vanilla in the heart and base notes, dried fruits, cashmere, incense, ambery woods, cardamom, and neroli. This one, once again, is not uber gourmand like the Tonka Body Con 31. More maybe similar to the, uh, the Boucheron, but a bit more different. This is definitely much more musky and a bit smoky and very amber woody. So those are pretty prominent, but you've got lots of Tonka and vanilla in here. It's a nice mixture of Tonka and vanilla. It doesn't feature the almondy note to give it more of a boost of the Tonka almondy bitterness, but this one also has the dried fruits. So there's a, a fruity undertone there, but not fresh fruits, more dried fruits, which kind of you know amplifies the ambery woods a part of the, the fragrance. But in the end, th there's light smokes, smoky notes in here, some spices from cardamom, and also a bit of citrus uh, floral touches of neroli. So really great offering once again, but totally different from all the other fragrances I've spoken about. So this is Toncad from the House of Laboratorio Olfativo. And I've been recommending this one in a few videos and posts here and there. It's Van Cleef & Arpel's Bois Doré, this one right here. Are you guys familiar with this one? This is a more polished woody take on the tonka beans. It's loads of tonka beans with vanilla, tobacco, teak wood, musk, black pepper, cedar, and mineral notes. In the end, it's a very smooth tonka fragrance. Not uber gourmand, gourmand light with woods, but paying tribute to the tonka with the vanilla note in here and going a bit of minerally in the end. So it's really, really great offering. Vranky Cleef and Arpels Bois Doré 
definitely one for you to check out. But this next one's really, really wonderful from the house of Montal. It's Arabian's Tonka. I can't believe how good Arabian's Tonka is compared to Arabian's from the same house. Arabian's Tonka is a night and day difference between the original Arabian's. Didn't care for Arabian's. Absolutely love this one. It's sugar, tonka, oud, saffron, rose, amber, musk, bergamot, and oak moss. For me, there's a little bit of a Baccarat Rouge-like undertone in here. Doesn't come through too much, but it's there. You'll recognize it. But in the end, it's a very sugary take on tonka. There's a bit of amber in here as well. And of course, the musk and all the other notes that come in creates a really wonderful sugary tonka gourmand fragrance. Really super delicious. If you don't know Arabian's Tonka, do check it out. I highly recommend that one as one of the best tonka bean fragrances. In fact, a lot of these are really, really great tonka bean fragrances. This next one's from the house of Joe Malone, going to Myrrh and Tonka. This one right here is correct, right? So Myrrh and Tonka is basically the resin of myrrh. It's a sweet resin, a bit smoky, contrasted with the tonka beans. Loads of tonka beans here, quite nutty, bitter, almondy. And then you've thrown in some lavender, vanilla, and almonds. So it's kind of a gourmand with aromatics and spices and gourmand notes here and there. It's a great, great fragrance. One of the best from Jo Malone. In fact, this has quite a following and um, sometimes a lot of men consider Jo Malone a bit more feminine as a brand. They have a lot of feminine leaning fragrances, but this one I feel like men totally love it because it's mostly about the myrrh and the tonka. And there's that aromatic spicy note of lavender with some almonds and vanilla. It's a, it's a gourmand, but it's resinous. It's aromatic. It's ambery. It's spicy, but quite delicious. So this is myrrh and tonka from the house of Joe Malone. Let me know if you're a fan of that one. If I didn't already mention, this is an unranked list. Next up, one of my favorite discoveries within the last couple of years. This is Mancera's Tonka Cola. Really a great offering for a Tonka bean fragrance, but this time we're going into a cherry cola direction. So it's fizzy, fruity, sparkling, effervescent, and loads of Tonka beans here, loads of them. It's also got a very warm, spicy edge about it, kind of uh, giving me that very cozy, comforting holiday vibe that I, you know, when I go to mom's house and I can smell all the baking and cooking and warm and spices and maybe the booze everywhere and just, you know, having a fun time. It's got that kind of a vibe going for it. But in the end, it's a very fizzy Tonka fragrance. Loads of Tonka beans here, loads of them. So it's got that kind of bitter almondy characteristic that Tonka has but it's also fruity fizzy and warm spicy at the same time it's really a great offering this one and then also a more cafe that came out from Mansara two really great offerings within the last couple of years and I think Mansara does some great fragrances but either way Mansara's Tonka Cola is a wonderful fragrance from that house next going to a house called Gallagher fragrances an indie niche house from the USA this is wicked good yeah, Wicked Good is definitely one of my favorite fragrances from this house. It's a full-on gourmand fragrance. Not only does it have a chock full of gour uh, gourmand tonka bean note in here, so bitter almondy, kind of uh, nutty in here, but you've got lots of chocolate, so it's very smooth and chocolatey. A bit of a combination of dark and milk chocolate in here. And then you've got vanilla. So it's basically these three notes come to life in your face. Super smooth, very delicious gourmand. So it's got the chocolate, nuts, the bitterness from the nuttiness of the tonka and the vanillic touch from the Madagascar vanilla. It's a very smooth ride and if you're a lover of gourmands, you definitely check it out. It might come off a bit simplistic because these three notes really dominate and take over and create a really delicious gourmand. But sometimes when you want wanting to wear something gourmandy and you want that kind of comforting coziness, you don't want a lot of things happening in there, right? Something just smooth that will kind of like you put it on and then just sit in front of a sofa or a chair and read a book and sip on some tea and watch some TV or drink some wine or something. But either way, Wicked Good, super delicious from the House of Gallagher Fragrances. And then I'm going to end the list with two fragrances from the House of BDK. BDK has two fragrances that focuses on Tonka. One that is not necessarily a... Tonka bean dominant, although it is pretty dominant, but the things that are happening in this fragrance, rouge smoking, uh, the Tonka is uh, not like full on in your face, if that makes sense. So this is cherries with Tonka beans, vanilla absolute, heliotrope, pink pepper, Italian bergamot, white musk, ambroxan, cashmere and white musk, and labdanum. It's a really delicious gourmand, but I feel like the nuttiness of the Tonka doesn't come out as much as the next one, which is basically velvet Tonka. But this one does have a lot of cherry in it and a lot of tonka. So it 
kind of you know meshes together to create a very unique note and characteristic combining cherries and tonka together but for sure you've got the heliotrope further you know adds a bit of more almondy powderiness and then also that vanilla in here the vanilla is super delicious then spices and citruses and musky notes that come in and then of course the ambroxan and cashmirin is in the base to you know extend the life of the fragrance to prolong the the life of the fragrance but it's a great fragrance definitely a really great offering from this house one of the best i think i prefer the one after this the one i'm going to end the video with much more because it's paying tribute to the tonka this one i feel like the tonka is not the star it's more about the cherry and the way the cherry blends with the tonka so it's almost like when you combine the cherry and tonka together they crosses them both out and comes up with a unique new note so i don't pick up a lot of the cherry and tonka very strongly in this even though they're pretty much dominating the fragrance if that makes sense but either way that's rouge smoking and i hear from the uh, grapevine that, that might be the next extract but this is just speculation because i know they're going to release another extract sometime soon and i think they're focusing on their most popular fragrances and i think rouge smoking is probably like pretty popular for the brand anyway the next fragrance and the last fragrance and the one i'm going to end with is my favorite is it my favorite from this house? It's my second favorite from BDK. It used to be my favorite until Passessoir X-Ray came out and that became my favorite. But this is uh, Velvet Tonka from the house of BDK. It is such a delicious of Tonka bean fragrance. Really, really wonderful. So it's almonds, Tonka, bourbon vanilla, tobacco, orange blossom, rose, amorous, and amber wood. Really, really great combination. And I like the orange blossom in here to create a bit of, I don't know, you know the combination for love, don't be shy, vanilla, orange blossom. So it's kind of like giving you a bit of that kind of a vibe where it doesn't smell like it, but it's there. You can notice the orange blossom. It's, you know, stands out against the almonds, the Tonka, the vanilla, the tobacco that's in here. It's a super, super delicious, very creamy, very velvety smooth tonka bean fragrance that's my second favorite from the house and definitely one of the best tonka bean fragrances out there and a great alternative to feb delicious and also tonka imperial from guerlain so this is velvet tonka the last fragrance i'm talking about that's from the house of bdk and those are my favorite alternatives for the now discontinued feb delicious from dior and tonka imperial from guerlain do you guys have any additional alternatives that you want to recommend? Do let me know what they are. Put a comment down below so I can find out. And were you fans of these two fragrances, Feb Delicious and uh, Tonka Imperial? Do you have bottles? Do you have backup bottles? Do let me know. And do let me know if these are not the fragrances that you consider alternatives for these two fragrances. What do you consider alternatives for these two now discontinued fragrances? Going back to that extract of the Tonka Serapia from Guerlain. Is it an alternative to Tonka Imperial? I haven't compared it to, I don't own it, so I can't remember, but I do remember sampling Tonka Serapia in Dubai when I first sampled the extracts collection. It did remind me of it, but I, I can't quite remember if they're identical. Was it a flanker or just a new version? And that was the reason why they canned Tonka Imperial because they came out with a Tonka Serapia. Well, they didn't do it with Spiritus Double Vanille because they also came out with the vanilla extract. So maybe this was not a seller. Uh, I don't know. But if you caught my video with um, Terry Wasser, he did mention some fragrances that are not selling do get discontinued. It's just, you know, marketing and, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the deal with... Uh, companies and things like that so it, it happens quite a bit but either way guys thanks so much for watching today's video if you have any questions or comments please list below please like this video please share it follow me on instagram and facebook and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye